ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin our program shortly to ensure a smooth flow for our program this morning. Here are some housekeeping rules for all of us to adhere to. Everyone is encouraged and highly recommended to turn on your cameras throughout the course of the program and use the virtual background, which has been made available for you. Please mute your microphone all times unless you are speaking. Our program will begin in a few minutes and we thank you for your patience. Assalamu alaikum and greetings everyone. Before we commence with the ceremony, we would like to invite everyone for the singing of our university anthem, Varsity Kita. Assalamu alaikum, hello, and good morning, everyone. <clears throat> On behalf of year two and year three TESOL students and the organizing committee, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. Also, it would be my great pleasure to welcome our special guest, Datin Paduka Zaliza Alias, our beloved Dean of the Faculty, Prof. Dato Dr. Nora Zahnordin, Deputy Dean for Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Harwati Hashim, Head of TESOL Program and Coordinator, Dr. Noor Ehsan bin Mohammed Said, and respected lecturers, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz and Dr. Hanita Hanim Ismail. We appreciate you taking time off your busy schedules to join us this fine morning. Welcome to the closing ceremony of the English Literary Festival 2021. My name is Muhammad Imer Zakwan bin Muhammad Iskandar. And I am Noor Aisha Bidwama Alias. We will be your MCs for today's ceremony. It is so great to see everyone here this morning. And I would like to bid everyone Assalamu Alaikum and Selamat Datang. Before we begin, I would like to call upon Ainul Shafiq bin Zakaria to lead us with the recitation of the doa. Please welcome. Assalamu alaikum, hello, and a very good morning to everyone. For non Muslims, can pray according to your respective religions. And for Muslims, let us start with the recitation of Al Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya Allah, Ya Rahim. Praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds. Peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions and those who followed his example till the, till the judgment day. Allahumma ya Allah, 
on this blessed morning in conjunction with this event, the Closing Ceremony English Literary Festival 2021. We beseech thee and grateful towards you in favor of all the infinite blessings to us, your humble servant, to live in safe and prosperous life. We seek your blessing for a flawless progress of this event from the beginning till the end. We seek your guidance to stay clear of events that would detrimental the progress of this event. Ya Latif, Ya Latif, Ya Rahman, please bless us with your taufik and hidayah. Please guide us and University of Bansa Malaysia, UKM, to greatness, peace, glory, and prosperity in this world and the hereafter. Make us responsible intellectual. Granted us with a valuable knowledge that will be beneficial to mankind in order to gain your mardatila. Make us your righteous servant that followed your commands and neglect the sinful act. Please forgive us for, for our wrongdoing. Ya Muzil al Barakah, bestow peace to our beloved country, Malaysia. Preserve us from any trade and disaster, neither man made nor natural disaster. And to you, Ya Allah, we ask for security and prosperity upon us, our leaders, and our country. Bestow patience in us in order to face the challenges from you. Please accept our deeds and please reward us accordingly. Wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa alhamdulillah rabbi alamin. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Thank you. Thank you, Ainul Shafiq bin Zakaria, for the recitation of the du'a. Thank you, Aisha, and thank you, Shafiq. Now, a brief introduction about our English Literary Festival 2021. It is a program organized the program was planned by our students who are majoring in teaching English as a second language, or how it is commonly abbreviated as TESOL. Now for this semester, we are undertaking literature courses under the guidance of senior lecturers, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz and Dr. Hanita Hanim Ismail. Before we continue, let's take a look at the objectives of our program today and to understand once again why we are here this weekend. Yes, that's right, Emir. This English Literary Festival 2021 is the very first program of its own that combines two elective and showcase students' collection of creative works for public viewing in hopes to shape strong individuals with resilience and creativity in mind. Yes, very true. That is correct, Aisha. And all praises go to God as we have made the impossible possible by carrying out this program fully online. Now we thank God for the gift of technology and for this chance to meet, meet each other virtually. Our program would not have been a success without the help and contributions of the faculty members, our highly respected lecturers from the Faculty of Education, University of Bangsa Malaysia. Let's give a virtual round of applause to them. Now, to kickstart today's event, we would like to call upon Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz, our beloved lecturer, senior lecturer at Center Innovation in Teaching and Learning from the Faculty of Education, UKM, to deliver her speech of humanizing English education in Malaysia. Please welcome Dr. Azlina. Thank you, Amir. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera and a very good morning to all. Yang berbahagia, Datin Paduka Zaliza Alias, the founder and executive director of GAINS Education Group Sendian Berhad. Yang berbahagia, Professor Datuk Dr. Norazah Nordain, the Dean of the Faculty of Education, UKM. Dr. Hawati Hashim, Deputy Dean for Undergraduate Studies. Dr. Nur Ehsan bin Muhammad Said. Head of TESOL Program and Coordinator, Dr. Hanita Hanim Ismail, Senior Lecturer and Literature Lecturer. Firstly, I would like to express my deep appreciation to Yang Bahagia Datin Paduka Zaliza Alias for gracing us with your presence today during the closing ceremony of the first ever English Literary Festival 2021. You've also been considerably helpful and supportive as is evidenced during the workshop on sensorial storytelling for young children organized by the UKM's Alumni Relations Center with the collaboration of the Faculty of Education, UKM. We've learned so much from you and incorporated some of the techniques in our digital puppetry. 
Secondly, I would like to congratulate the TESOL year two and three students on creating and showcasing the first ever digital puppetry organized by the TESOL students from the Faculty of Education, UKM. This class project was conceived to nurture creativity and technological innovation among our TESOL student teachers. Indeed, we have witnessed various aspects of creativity and innovation from the scripts that you've written, the media you had used to bring these stories to life, and finally to make these works of art public on the online platform YouTube. There is a discipline to the performing arts that I hope you've learned through this process, which includes attention to details on the accuracy of the language used, creating a dramatic story that captivates the viewers, the importance of voiceover, such as its voice projection, intonation pattern, pronunciation and enunciation, and the manipulation of media, either in its technological and non-technological forms. Furthermore, you get to see viewers' live reaction to your group's creative product in the live chat room on YouTube. You also get to learn from each other through this live viewing, admiring the stories told, how it's told, and what form it takes. Congratulations, too, on creating the first ever website for the literature component in the TESOL program at our faculty. Dr. Hanita and I plan to use this website to showcase the literature program, and in the future, we'll add more creative literary works by our TESOL students. Part of the reason we had conceived this literary festival is because we believe we need to recognize the equal value of science, technology, arts and literature in shaping our citizens to become balanced and holistic individuals who are industrious, productive and engaged citizens in a democratic country. It is important as Malaysians that we remain grounded in our cultural and national identities whilst looking outward in our role as global citizens. Apart from building our nation, we also need to look beyond our borders and claim our place in the international community to challenge the status quo and unequal power structures. In order for Malaysia to become a developed nation, we need to produce citizens who are creators and critiques of content, as well as problem solvers for local and world issues such as racism, climate change, social, economic and political inequality. It is timely that our education system is in tandem with these concerns. The festival adds to many literature projects we've conducted that combines creativity and performance, such as personal narrative readings, dramatization on stage and online, and creating graphic stories. The process of developing narrative texts and drama scripts harness student teachers' creativity and critical thinking skills. Besides, you also learn to value narrative texts as a means to engage with social, cultural issues by reading the word and the world, connecting the personal with the social, cultural, and engaging your pupils both cognitively and effectively. These experiences I, I believe to enhance student teachers' confidence in developing more teaching and learning materials that are representative of our cultural setting and contribute to locally produced materials. Literature has the potential to act as mediators for students to examine social, cultural, political issues to help the students relate them to their lives and the world around them. It would be erroneous to think that Malaysia's development solely depends on science and technology, since literature has the potential to develop critical thinking through close readings of local and world events. Professor Dr. Said Farid al Atas asserts that literature could develop individuals with a moral compass. He argues for the need for both technical knowledge and the humanities, and I'll leave you with a final word from him, and I quote, an all-rounded person will have both abilities, not just the ability to understand whole hard facts, but also to empathize, to feel, to have emotions. These are important skills, end quotes. So thank you very much. And thank you for everyone for your uh, participation and for gracing, uh, you know, uh, this uh, event today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Azlina, for the encouraging speech, which I'm sure will inspire others. Now, we are pleased to have with us the founder, Genius Outlet, and the CEO, Games Education Group, Yang Berbahagia, Datin Paduka Zaliza Alias, to deliver her speech. The floor is yours, Datin.
Inshallah. A round of applause to all of you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Azlina. Inshallah. Thank you. A round of applause to all of you. TESOL year two and year three students. Uh, I'm Zaliza from TESOL three, batch three. So that was uh, 1996 uh, graduation. Salam sejahtera. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dean of Faculty, Professor Dr. Muraza Nurdin. Deputy Dean for Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Harwati Hashim, Head of TESOL Program and Coordinator, Dr. Noor Isan bin Muhammad Said, Senior Lecturers, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz and Dr. Hanita Hani Ismail. Thank you, Dr. Noraza, Dr. Azlina and Faculty Pendidikan for inviting me to this amazing English Literary Festival. I told Dato I took the best front seat and I shared with her screenshots of many parts of the showcase. I'm very proud of all of you. Congratulations, Dr. Azlina and Tasselian's Faculty Pendidikan. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations for putting up something so uplifting in this challenging time. It's really up uplifting. You may not realize it, but um, honestly, when I shared the link of your event, Digital Puppet Showcase, Puppetry Showcase, at the, at the time when everyone else were putting up news on, you know, um, like never ending COVID cases and such. It is a surprise and very refreshing to see a post on something so vibrant and colorful such as this Digital Puppetry Show from UKM Castle of the Tesla students of year two and year three, give yourself up. Thank you, you check me there. Okay, give yourself a round of applause again. You nail it. You nail it as future educators in Malaysia to pave the way for future generations, inshallah. Thank you for keeping the spirit high, everyone. Thank you. I, I like it so much. I had so much fun. I like it, uh, I like it how, how you tweak the Malay folklore and other folklore around the world. Um, the plot twist, the plot twist, very clever. Um, the, the names that you put for the characters, hmm, you all memang lawa. <laughs> it was like, like, how did you do that? The amazing illustrations, the, um, the, 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 the kinds of puppet you explore, you really explore, um, explore all kinds of puppets puppetry there, um, like the stick puppets, uh, hand puppets, shadow puppets. It's really brilliant. Again, how did you do that? It's, it's like how you integrate everything. The, the, the STEM integration in English language teaching uh, that you have put up is really amazing. Um, I like how you bring it out of the screen, actually, um, because very often when we talk about STEM education, science, technology, and engineering, and maths. People thought it's just confined to, you know, science and maths. It's not English. But no, language is a content in everything, right? So, mashallah. Now, the teamwork, that, that's another part that, that I, I, I'm really amazed. That deserves a wow. To do it remotely, wow. Now, in a group work, there must be one or two people who do most of the work. I would like to congratulate those people for getting everyone together and get all the work done remotely. It must be an uphill battle for you, you know, to get everything done and you have clearly won the battle. Uh, I'd like to end with a quote, when life gives you, throws you lemon, make lemon, it's better. Wait, I think uh, uh, you did more than that. It's not just lemonade. You turn them into uh, lemon cheesecake, lemon candies, uh, lemon butter chicken, lemon asam pedas, whatnot, lemon candle, uh, lemon compost fertilizer, and you make it into an artwork into masterpiece. And it's all from the lemons that are thrown to you. Uh, dear Tassel students, you rock UKM. Please, if you are looking for an internship, if you have graduated, 
uh, later, you can and Thessalians come write to me personally at CEO at GainsEducation.com. Gains Education Group uh, is a private education group with various institutions under it, such as international school, uh, national curriculum, private schools, both at primary and secondary levels, preschool franchise network, teachers training academy, educational institution, infrastructure services, and also we're involved with creative media productions, including children's animations. All right. And I am immensely proud to be a Tassel alumni. All the best, everyone. Bye. Salam alaikum. Thank you, Datin Parika Zaliza Alias, for that very lively speech. I'm sure we should we could surely learn a thing or two from the beautiful message. And I'm really sure it will encourage students all around, Tesla students especially, to become wonderful, promising educators that would pave the way to a bright and beautiful future. And I quote her, you rock, UKM Tesla students. Inspiring indeed. And it's wonderful to hear from someone that's part of us. Thank you and a great pleasure having you, you here to, with us today. Next, we would like to call upon Prof. Dato Dr. Nora Zahnordin, the Dean, Faculty of Education, to deliver her closing speech. Please welcome Prof. Dato. Thank you very much, Amir and Aisha. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Yang Berbahagia, Datin Paduka, Zaliha Alias. Uh, the founder of uh, Genius Outlet and CEO Gains Education Group, uh, our prominent uh, alumni uh, of the Faculty of Education, Yatim uh, Paduka, we are so proud that uh, you take your time to be with us here. Actually, we have been together watching uh, the show. Yeah. Okay. Next is Dr. Uh, Harwati Hashim. Deputy Dean Undergraduate Program for the Faculty of Education, Dr. Ihsan Said, the Undergraduate Tassel uh, Head, and uh, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz, Dr. Hanisa Hanim Ismail, uh, student lecturers of the Center for Department of Innovation and Teaching and Learning at the Faculty of Education, who are really the, the, the big uh, persons uh, behind uh, this festival, the very important people uh, for this festival, uh, and uh, test other TESOL students, uh, TESOL lecturers, year two and year three TESOL students, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all. Uh, and Alhamdulillah. Um, we are so proud, uh, praise to the mighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can be here virtually for this English Literary uh, Festival 2021, uh, organized by the year two and year three TESOL students. I'm really proud uh, of your performance and uh, we don't judge uh, faculty of education do doesn't judge uh, the performance but let the outsider judge it. So true enough, uh, Datin Paduka, uh, Datin Paduka's speech just now has proven everything. And uh, we are so uh, blessed that uh, we can be here virtually. And I really hope that, you know, while we are doing all these things, we take care of uh, ourselves during this pandemic. I would like to express uh, my, uh, you know, to, uh, to congratulate to the organizing committee for putting up great efforts uh, at manning this festival that uh, lasted for three weeks. It's really a festival and it's not uh, every day that we can have festivals, uh, especially during this pandemic. So this is actually an innovation of its own. Uh, that's why I shared with Dr. Hanisa, Dr. Azlina uh, uh, about the digital puppetry show. Um, for me, uh, digital science and technology, the fourth industrial revolution uh, uh, application is not only for science people. 
it can be applicable in all areas. And this is what actually uh, UKM uh, is really uh, looking forward for this translational uh, research, translational um, agenda uh, from other, uh, from technology into language, from science and technology into social science. And today we are blessed and honored uh, to have Datin Paduka Zaliza alias, our own alumni, which has been following uh, with us. Uh, we, we were together, maybe from a distance, we were sharing our popcorn together from a distance, taking our front seat together, sharing, uh, uh, the, sharing, sharing the fun uh, of the puppetry show, digital puppetry show. And also, I love all the characters, you know, uh, love it. And... Uh, I also was, I'm, I've told that the poetry readings and puppetry shows done by the Cecil student and um, with this supervision by both Dr. Azlina and Dr. Hanita has really proven uh, the success of this uh, festival. As we know, literature has the power to unite a nation, especially during these hard times. I'm happy that the TESOL students are finding ways to channel their creativity and enjoying themselves uh, while educating values to the use of language. Because of that, I hope uh, there will be other similar celebrations of creativity and talents by the TESOL program uh, in the future. And I really hope that it can be joint venture with the special education program, uh, I think it will be beautiful with the sports and recreation program that really we can, we can make it uh, an extravaganza uh, festival of uh, the Faculty of Education undergraduate pro program, maybe next year. So education should be a continuous effort to improve uh, the society. And with this project, it is proven that Educators become more creative during a pandemic. Uh, for me, the pandemic is not really uh, uh, short or uh, really shorten our creativity, but really make us uh, more innovative, find ways to find all uh, all other applications, uh, make up of uh, everything that really uh, can make things can make, uh, can make things happen. So I remember watching the English theater organized by the Tessel uh, students in 2019. Uh, it was a face-to-face -face, and now I'm proud to see the innovation with the digital puppetry show uh, to translate language skills in real life. So when we cannot be face-to-face, uh, -face, be together face-to-face, -to -face, there is an alternative during this uh, pandemic. And it's very kind of contextual and it's very authentic. So wish, uh, I really, you know, on behalf of the Faculty of Education, I wish uh, uh, the TESOL students, the lecturers, all the best. And I know that with the tagline, Faculty of, Edu Faculty of uh, Education, Leaders in Educational Innovation, this is really a proof. So with this, I would like to officially close the English Literary Festival of 2021. Thank you. Wabilahi Taufiq wal Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Thank you, Prof. Dr. Dr. Noor Azza Nordin, the Dean, Faculty of Education, for the beautiful speech delivered and thank you for being with us this morning. As mentioned by Prof. Dato, all this application and technology is not only for science people, but also applicable for TESOL students. And this project has proven that we TESOL students nail it. With that, we can officially proceed with the English Festival Award Ceremony. Right, Emir? Very true, Aisha. However, before we head on to the awards, let us enjoy a gimmick presented to us in the form of a short clip 
courtesy of our very own website development team. Let's roll the clip. Truly, truly brilliant. And what can I say? What an, what an eye open of a website that was. Now folks, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let us head on to the results and unveil the winners starting with our very first event of the literary festival, Poetry Slam. Aisha, would you do the honors? Yes, I would. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time that all of us have been waiting for and I'm very pleased to be part of this important celebration announcing the name of the winners for our Poetry Slam, Poetry Scape Across the Malaysian Waters. Without further ado, let us begin. Okay, the third place for the Poetry Slam, Poetry Scape Across the Malaysian Waters goes to Khairul Najmiya with the poems, How Malaysian Are You and Blood. Congratulations, Khairul Najmiya. The second place, goes to Don Sebastian Tungolo with the poem A Prayer and a Tanak Bagus Mission. Congratulations, John. And the first place for the poetry scape across the Malaysian waters goes to Shazwin Fazlin with the poem 1957, Memoir of My Papa to Malaysia and My Memoir of Malaysia Herself. Congratulations to all the winners. And next, for the best poem, the award goes to Ma Chen with the poem entitled The Sea in Malaysia and the Hero and His Flowers. And lastly, for the most awaited award, the best slammer goes to Shazwin Fazli. Congratulations, Shazwin. Now, let us listen to a poem recitation from our best slammer with the poem entitled my memoir of Malaysia herself. The stage is yours, Shazwin. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to Datin Paduka Zalisa alias, our beloved Dean of Faculty of Education, Professor Dato Dr. Norazama Manordin, Dean, Deputy Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Harati Hashim, Head of TESOL Program. Dr. Nur Ehsan bin Muhammad Said, and my respectful lecturers, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz and Dr. Hanita, ha Hanita Hanif Ismail, and my fellow audience. Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah for this opportunity. Thank you for the support given by my beloved family, my respectful lecturers, and my amazing friends. I now will recite my original, my Memoirs of Malaysia Herself I was given no name before they came I was full of nature, as people here treated me with nature. There used to be a few tribes, and now 
There are more than I can describe. For 400 years, the invaders came and devoured me. And how will my people be? These tribes came from their lands. And now we stand in the same sands. Years after years through tears, we have one voice that brought us to cheers. Malaysia, we name you. May the success we forge bring to you. Oh, I have a name. Malaysia, they claim. Different religions and races bring no worry to the root of our traces. As Malaysia is standing with a nation of colossal Malaysia is mighty after all. Thirty first will be my first. I heard Merdeka was best. Jalo Gemilang was waving in the air. Malaysia is soaring to flare. Have you seen how I grew? And many more to brew. These many tribes call themselves as Malaysians, if I may say, this is the greatest decision. The sun painted my path with ombre colours, full of joys and wonders. Bring your curiosity and jotis, together we go across the Malaysian waters. That is all for me. Thank you. Shazi, congratulations again to all the winners. All of you have, has really did a good job and I really hope that all of us can learn something from them. Right, Emir? Very true, Aisha. What an inspiring poem indeed. Congratulations to each and every one of the winners. I would also like to extend my congratulatory wishes to all the nominees who have proven worthy contenders for the awards. Good job to all of you. What an inspiration to those who wish to pursue in the art of poetry. Now, before we proceed with the awards for the digital puppetry event, let us enjoy a short compilation of every puppetry show that has taken place last weekend, courtesy of our hardworking and brilliant, te brilliant technical team. Roll the clip. I miss you so much, Ma. I really do. I only had my father to depend on. I miss my mother a lot. The day she died was the start of a challenging life. Do I need to tell you that I'm hungry first for you to prepare me my breakfast? This is literally your job. Enough, Andina. Those are just made up stories. Wait a sec. Do you really believe in this kind of story? <laughs> I mean, it sounds so ridiculous to me. If she was meant to die, she was willing to sacrifice herself for her people and her country. And it's, it's unique compared to all the weapons that, that you have made before. The weapon would be called the Kuris Kasuma. Damn the hell! How is your standard, Rebecca? Good morning, class. My duty was to protect this kingdom and my people. I will never let such a bloodshed war happen to our kingdom. Yeah, let's 
be friends with everyone from now on no matter what their skin colors are their cultures races physical appearances and all let's just not discriminate other people again What a wonderful montage. Had me tearing up a bit there. <laughs> and thank you to our brilliant and hardworking technical team for putting together this video. And good job to everyone for making this a success. What a way for us to appreciate the wide array of creativity and innovation of TESOL year two and year three students. Everything that's happened during the entire course of the puppetry show has been amazing and memories worth keeping for a lifetime. The amount of talent that's been showcased by our students just never ceases to impress us. Wonderful, and congratulations to all. Now folks, the moment you've all been waiting for, let us move on to the first category of awards, starting with the best scriptwriting awards. Now let's unveil who has an eye for scriptwriting, a talent that requires much flexibility, passion, knowledge, and consistency. Here are the nominees, starting with Sunset Production, The Six Amigas, Crystal, Midnight, Tony and Co. Production, and Huff. And the winner for the best scriptwriting award goes to Tony and Co. Production. Congratulations on presenting a beautiful storyline that displays the dark side of a man using his religion to fulfill his demands. I think everyone is familiar with Ustaz Karim from Behind Closed Doors right about now. Congratulations to you, Tony and Co. Production. Now let us move on to the next category of awards, which is the best sound effect awards. Now this category is focused on teams who have successfully projected and illustrated soundscape ambience, displaying fluency in interactive audio solutions and have portrayed good knowledge of the sound systems. And the nominees for these awards are Manga Laude Entertainment, Crystal, Blue Sky Production, Luminous, and The Rimba. And the winner for the Best Sound Effect Award goes to Manga Laude Entertainment. Congratulations to you. You have definitely proven yourselves worthy of being awarded in this category for your wonderful display of sound effects that bring up the best quality of your puppetry show. Congratulations, Manga Laude Entertainment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us turn our attention to the next category of awards, starting with the Best Storyline Award. Now, here are the nominees. This category is focused on teams who have created wonderful and entertaining storylines that are really captivating enough to have caught the attention of the audience. From expositions, rising actions, to the climax, falling action, and the new more. The nominees are Magical Cinematic Universe, Marionette, Luminous, Blue Sky Production, Aquinted, and The Carlson Project. And the winner, of this award goes to Marionette. Congratulations on portraying a wonderful storyline which illustrates the belief of a stigma in education, a story much like no other, where a mother plans on protecting her daughter from experiencing a flawed education system. Congratulations to you, Marionette, well-deserved. Now let us move on to the next award, Best Designs. Now this award centers around production teams who have employed the usage of stunning and creative background images that resonate with our emotions, lively illustrations that are eye-opening and artistry of visual effects. And the nominees for this category are The Rimba, Free Delivery Production, Sky Production, Manga Laude Entertainment, and The Ilaria Production. And the winner, of this category is the Ilaria Productions. Congratulations to you on being the people's choice of a creative and innovative team that has successfully employed the usage of entertaining background visuals, bright and vibrant colors, as well as exhibiting a beautiful work of art and literature. Congratulations once again to the Ilaria Productions. Now folks, let us move on to the individual awards, starting off with the Best Voice Actor Award. 
Now, this is an exciting one. Now, what makes a good voice actor is having the ability to be dramatic and theatrical when the work calls for it, taking on the character and delivering, delivering the work and to fully immerse themselves in the role and delivering a one-man performance. So let's take a look at the nominees, starting with Wang Ming Yang as Kuke from Dear Gahayu, Farid Amirul as Upkam and Sabrum from Upkam and the Labu Sayong, Tuan Amir as the narrator from The Legend of Chris Kasuma, John Sebastian as Joseph from Laya, and Alif Ayman as Arjuna from Unwanted Surprises. And the winner for Best Voice Actor Award goes to John Sebastian from the show Laya. Congratulations to you as you have successfully played your role of Joseph, a determined novice teacher who strives in educating the younger generation and fulfilling their rights as students to receive proper education. You have definitely executed your role well and is well deserving of this accolade. Congratulations to you, John. Moving on. Best Voice Actress Award. And I think we're all really looking forward to this one. Such strong contenders, however, only one shall be named the winner. Let us take a look at the nominees, starting with Ainul Hayati as Ambun from Laya, Amanda Anastasia as Murni from Wither and Bloom, Nur Kamarina as Tokyan from Bakawali, Nelly Nika as the narrator from The Unsung Queen, and Anis Sofia as, the, as Kalsum from Upkam and the Labu Sayong. And the winner of the Best Voice Actress Award goes to Ainul Hayati as Ambun from Laya. A wonderful display of an individual who is bright and impassionate in learning. Congratulations to you, Ainul Hayati. Very much deserved. And what an inspiration to young actors and actresses out there who are looking to make it to the big stage. Congratulations once again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The big one. The award of all awards. The best overall performance. Let's see which production team takes this one home. The audience have casted their votes in and the results are in. Now this category is focused on production teams who have executed every part of the show perfectly, created puppets that have a clearly defined purpose, portraying a talent for technical qualities, movement, sound, lighting, and vocal inflection. The nominees for this award are the Ilaria Production, the Kalsum Project, Marionette, Manga Laude Entertainment, and Blue Sky Production. And the winner of this special award goes to Marionette. Congratulations to you. Well deserved of the title of best performance and an exemplary team to all. You have definitely demonstrated unique methods of show showcasing puppeteering skills, ventriloquy and stage management. The accolades are yours. Congratulations, Marionette. And as deserved winners of this title, let us take a look at the show, which has brought much joy and inspiration to youngsters all around. Without further ado, let's begin. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Kampong Apilarat is one of the indigenous villages in Gompen, Pahang. It is situated south of Pahang and the majority of the indigenous people in that village still live in wooden houses. Joseph is quite reluctant at first when he knows he is about to be posted to an indigenous village. However, as a novice teacher, he needs to take this challenge positively. He is well known for his passion and enthusiasm in teaching, hence all his friends were persuading him to go for the job offer. Today is Joseph's first day as an English teacher in SK Kampong Apilaret. Good morning, class. Um, okay. I am Sir Joseph and I am your new English teacher starting from today. Joseph does some icebreaking sessions with his students. They barely respond to what Joseph asks, except for this one student who sits at the back of the class, Ambun. So, before we start our lesson, I want to test all of you. Can anyone share with me what tenses are? Me. Uh, me, sir. Yes, Ambun. Tenses 
show the time and action takes place, sir. Good job, Ambun. Next question. How many tenses do we have? Anyone else would like to try? Can, can I try again, sir? Yes, Ambun. Go ahead. There are three types of tenses, which are past tense, um, present tense, and future tense, sir. Brilliant, Ambun. So, class, as Ambun said just now, there are three types of tenses which are past Ambun, the brightest student in year 6 at SK Kampung Apilaret. Her hobby is reading books in her spare time even though her reading materials are limited. Despite that, her interest in reading never fades. At the age of 12, her general knowledge is far better compared to her classmates. She also scores the highest marks in every examination in her class. It has been four months since Joseph started teaching. Among all his students, he becomes closer to Mbun as she shows enthusiasm in learning. On top of that, he can see Mbun's potential in succeeding the upcoming UPSR. Mbun, can I have a talk with you for a minute? Sorry, sir. I need to go home to do my chores. Please, it will not take much of your time. We can talk about this in less than 10 minutes. Okay, sir. What is it? I'm planning to do an intensive program since the UPSR is around the corner. I've asked the rest of your classmates, but they all disagree with the plan. I really hope you can accept this offer. What is this intensive program for, sir? And when will it be held? This program will help the students with potential so they can excel in UPSR. It will be held every day after school, so you need to stay back. I'm so sorry, sir. But I don't think I can join the program. Every day, I have a lot of impending chores waiting for me after school. Please, Mbun, think about the offer first. You can give me the answer by tomorrow. I understand. Okay, sir. See you tomorrow. Okay, take care, Mbun. Mbun has been too quiet as she is anxious to tell her mother regarding the intensive program that Sir Joseph proposed to her earlier that day. Mm, I cooked your favorite dish today. Boiled tapioca served with salted fish. Thank you, Mbun. What would I do without you? Ma, I have something to tell you. But promise me that you will accept whatever I am about to do with an open heart. Yes, sayang. As long as it doesn't go against our belief. The new teacher, Sir Joseph, asked me to join his intensive program that will help me get good grades for UPSR. And I will have a better chance of continuing my secondary education. Jangan merepek, Ambun. You are considered lucky that I still send you to school even after your father's death. No matter what you hear from those outsiders, education is definitely not for people like us. But, Ma, education is the only way to help our family. Whatever you're saying, I'm not buying it. The outsiders and your teacher are lying to you, Umbun. Promise me that you will never join such a thing. I promise, Ma. Very Good, Ambun. Do not try to break it or miss or else. With tears, she has something else planned in her mind, something that would wreck her mother's heart if she ever finds out about it. Yes, Ma. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Let's eat, shall we? Sir, I think I will be joining the intensive program. That's great, Ambun. I knew you'd have said yes. Kartika comes back early as she hurts herself in the forest. While walking home, she overhears two children talking about the new teacher. Eh, Sir Joseph's noble act seems a bit too ambitious, right? Thinking that he could help Ambun to further her studies? Especially since our elders still believe that people like us don't deserve that kind of education. 
Yes, but we'll see how it goes. Besides, Amun is the most clever kid in our class. She even willingly revises her study without being rewarded, while most of us have to be bright with candies. Kartika is bold with rage. She immediately changes her direction to Ambon's school. She never thought that Ambon would turn her back against her own mother. In writing an essay, it's important to do the outline first because... Ambon, you better come home now. Please calm down, Puan. Who do you think you are? Did you realize what you have done to my daughter? You teach her to disobey her own mother. Is this about the program? Puan, Umbun has a bright future ahead of her. Please, just this time, let her chase what she wants in life. Do not tell me how to raise my own daughter. Sudah lah, Ma! I am not asking for your permission. I am telling you what I think is the best for my future. This is what I have chosen, Ma. And I will still proceed with or without your consent. Yes, Umbun. You don't need my permission to live your life. But it is my job to make sure that you're not getting hurt. I have to ensure that you won't be scarred from the pain caused by others just because you are different. And this pain comes in abundance when you take a step into the outside world, Lumbun. Those people, they will never accept us. But we will never know if you never try, Ma. Please have more faith in me. And I will make sure that you will never, ever have to pen your back again. They will never accept us or Lumbun. They pride themselves in being a part of this harmonious, multicultural nation, yet they bear our land naked with their greed. They say they want to neglect our education, yet they try to erase our culture and language. I've been there myself, my child. They gave me a quality education, yet my sense of identity was taken away. I was ostracized just because I was from here and they were from there. I no longer found joy in learning and so I saw no place for me in the society. My thirst for studying was finally quenched, although the brim is yet to be raised because I realized my voice has no sound among these people. You say you are doing this to protect me, yet you have clipped my wings, inhibited me from changing our little world into a better place. A mother's job. My only job is to make sure that there are plates of food on the table. My priority is to protect my daughter from any harm caused by the big white world. Yes, you're right that you don't need my permission to do whatever you think is best for you. But you are first and foremost my daughter and you must do as I say. Before you are society's daughter, you are my daughter, Umbun. Listen to me and let's go home. If, if you don't mind, Puan, can I have a seat? I knew that you would come. Is Ambun home? She went to collect up your cash. You know what, Puan? You're right. Everything that you said about how fooled up the system is. The outside society is certainly a harsh world for a bright girl like Ambun. The jarring presumption that people have towards those who are different from them. I, I myself had my prejudice before coming here. <laughs> but after getting to know these children, I realized one thing. I noticed how they find amusement in the exact same thing that I found during my childhood. I felt the familiar tinge of terror felt when teachers ask for their homework. I saw the prime joy of being that is found in eating food shared with friends, the euphoria in learning. These feelings shared between me and the children made me realize that we are all just the same after all, and no one should ever have to live in a world where they are alienated. Yet, you persist to convince me to let Ambon further her studies. I 
I only know how to feed Ambuin with good food. I give her unsoiled and clean clothes to wear. I lock the door when night comes. I soothe her when she cries from the injury on her knees. There's only this much physical thing that I can do to protect her. If I let her go, how do I heal her broken heart when she couldn't find her place in the big wide world? This world is surely a big place, Puan. And the young me have always dreamt of creating a safe small world for the children. Just as it is guaranteed that we'll meet disagreeable people, we are also bound to meet good people along the way. Just as there are many days lived with regrets and disappointment, there are many more days to live where we'll find ourselves facing a greater meaning of joy. I can't promise that Umbun will have a happy and bright life out there. But as a teacher, I can't extinguish the flame of knowledge burning inside her Puan. Should I give her a chance? Thank you, Puan. Thank you so much. After 13 years of pursuing her education, Umbun is back at her old school as a teacher. She aims to create a joyful, safe space for the little children around her by embracing a pedagogical approach that emphasizes celebrating the differences that exist. She is forever thankful for Joseph's insistence in making sure she is able to chase her dream. The End Wow, that was such an inspiring and best performance by Marionette. Congratulations, Marionette. And that's the end of our closing ceremony of the English Literary Festival 2021 for today. Once again, our sincere and heartfelt thanks goes to our special, great, guest, special guest, Datin Paduka Zaliza alias, our world one and only Dean of the Faculty of Education, Professor Dr. Dr. Nur Azan Nordin, Deputy Dean, for the undergraduate studies, Dr. Harwati Hashim, Dr. Ehsan, respected lecturers, Dr. Azlina Abdul Aziz and Dr. Hanita Hanim, Ismail and Year 2 and Year 3 TASO students for making this event work and inspiring for the future generations. We hope that this event will be a sweet memory to every single one of us. On behalf of the com organizing committees, I would like to apologize for our shortcomings throughout the festival. My deepest gratitude to everyone for joining this English festival until we meet again in the future. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great weekend. Thank you. Can we have a picture? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's, yes. let's. Sure, sure. All right, so I'd like to invite everyone to turn on your cameras, yeah? Photos for the photo album, yeah? So we'll do two formal and two freestyles, All right? Uh, Shukri, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I would like to invite everyone to turn on your cameras, yeah, for a quick photo session. Okay, everyone ready? Ready? Okay, three, two, one. One more freestyle. Okay, now freestyle. All right. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for, so, for being here today. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for coming. It was a beautiful event. Thank you. Thank you everyone. All the best.